What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a several part series on installing a dash cam in my 2021 Range Rover. Uh, this part is going to just be the unboxing. So uh, as you can see, I purchased a Blackview dash cam. This is the DR900X two channel model. So it has a front and a rear dash cam. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. All right. First thing you'll notice is right on top, you have your main dash cam and your rear cam. They come uh, pretty nicely protected, have a little lens cover over the lens and uh, a nice film protecting it all the way around here. And since I'm not installing this yet, I'm gonna actually wrap that back around, keep it nice. Um, obviously this is the, what you're going to mount to the windshield and you can adjust the angle, but I am using a blend mount, uh, to mount it to my rear view mirror. So I actually will not be using this piece. Um, but we will look at the blend mount uh, in another video. So anyway, this is the front piece. Um, yeah. Up here as well, we have the rear camera. Um, this one's much more simple. Uh, you just have the line out for the uh, coaxial cable, whereas on this one we have a little bit of everything. Uh, power in, USB, that is where, that runs to the rear camera, that coaxial cable, Wi-Fi button, and let's see here, as you can see this little piece that kind of holds itself in there shows where you put the micro SD card in. Um, pop that back in place. So look at that. This has got a little just a little lens cover and also this has a nice uh, sticky uh, cover over to keep it nice and fresh. I'm gonna leave that on until we're actually ready to install. All right, so this is just packaging, keep everything nice. We have our manual. All right, and then this will be all of our uh, wiring goodies. All right, so this is the coaxial cable, and this is about 20 feet of cable to run from the front to the rear. This is probably going to be the hardest part of the install, is getting this ran cleanly from the front to the rear of the vehicle. So that's, that is definitely going to be the hard part. Uh, this has an F, if you can see that, for front and then rear, R for rear. Um, so this is one is at a right angle, so that'll kind of go nice and neat. And I think I'm going to run that through the uh, uh, the uh, rearview mirror uh, trim, you know, the little box with all the electronics and stuff in there. Try to hide it up in there. Anyway, that's the coaxial cable. What else we got? All right, this is your hard wire. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do yet. So this, obviously you have your ground cable, your battery, and ACC. Uh, so one of these is supposed to be to full-time power directly to the battery, and the other is for when you're, uh, just your ignition. So when your ignition's on, it, uh, it knows to be recording. Um, when you turn the car off, it goes into parking mode when you have this uh, you, uh, wired up. Problem is, I have the P400 mild hybrid Range Rover that has a 48 volt electrical system. So I'm not sure that I can just wire this up uh, like normal. I've been asking around and haven't had any luck on finding that out yet. So we may end up just uh, wiring it to a 12 volt uh, source for one of the accessory sockets and I've ordered a micro um, fuse tap for that. I've already found a place in the uh, 
glove box, and obviously I'll show you all that, uh, where I'm going to tap for power. I don't know if we'll be, we might have to investigate parking mode and, and maybe try one of the batteries that you can get from Blackview, because I don't know that I'm going to be able to connect it directly to the electrical system in that Range Rover. Just because the Blackview, um, it says it's it supports 12 volt and 24 volt uh, systems. So I'm not completely sure about that. We will, we will get back to that. Let's see what else we have. All right, this is, okay, there's my micro SD card. And this is the main uh, difference in price uh, for the different models of this is depending on what size card you get. Uh, it starts out 32 gigabyte, 64, there's a 128 and a 256 gig. Um, now it just loops the, vi the or it just records over old video unless it's deemed uh, important, I guess. So I don't really think it's a big issue. I don't really need 256 gigs of memory. So I, I went with the 64, a little more uh, than the uh, 32, obviously, a little more record time and then but not more than I need. It also comes with a adapter for USB, uh, so you can plug your micro SD card into your USB port. Naturally, my MacBook does not have a USB port, so I'll have to use a USB-C adapter <laughs> for the adapter, but you know, oh well. Um, here's some extra double-sided tape. This for the the rear camera, the bigger one for the main camera. However, like I mentioned, I won't be using this. I'll be using a blend mount for another video. We have a trim tool. This, I have several of these in different shapes, but this will help us remove panels or, or push wires in between uh, panels and whatnot when we're trying to hide our wires. These are just some little wire guides that we can use to, you know, hide cables or route the cables. I'm trying to do my best to uh, keep the cables very hidden, so I may not, I'm hoping not to need those. Uh, well, that covers everything in this bag. And I believe we have one more item in here. Yep, this is the 12 volt uh, accessory socket plug. This would be if you just want to plug it in and go with it. Originally, I thought I may just use the uh, 12 volt plug in the da or in the uh, top glove box and route this through the glove box to the uh, to the dash cam. But that top uh, little dash compartment uh, glove box, I it look it does, I can't find any holes in it, so I, I might have to drill a hole or may have to drill a hole in there, but I don't really want to do that, so that's why I'm probably going to try to use a fuse tap and uh, use the hard wire. I just won't be able to use that, um, the, uh, the mode, parking mode yet until I figure out the, the, uh, 48 volt issue. Anyway, that is everything in the box. So just to recap, we have our front camera, our rear camera, uh, instruction manual, your 12 volt cable for power, your hard wire, coaxial cable for front camera to the rear camera, and installation kit, and micro SD and adapter. That is everything you get when you buy the Blackview DR900X dash cam. Pretty excited about this. I may, if I like it in the Range Rover, I may end up putting one in the Audi. Probably won't do the Jeep. I don't really feel I need one in the Jeep, but you never know. Anyway, if you have any questions about this video, uh, leave a comment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next part when we get into the install.